When Ford asked me to fly out to Salt Lake City, Utah to drive the insanely fast GT supercar, you know what I said? That's right, I said absolutely nothing because I was already sprinting for the airport. We're out here in Salt Lake City, Utah to check out the absolutely insane Ford GT supercar. Ford is only making about 250 of these per year and we get to drive one. So, uh, wish me luck. I only got to drive this car for an afternoon, so this isn't gonna be a full review. Plus, you know, at a base price of around $450,000, this isn't the kind of car anyone buys just because some guy on the internet says it's awesome. Oh, but how awesome it is. It looks like the damn Batmobile, and it hugs the track like it just found its long-lost best friend. The center console definitely gets the job done, but with a car like this, you're paying mostly for what's under the hood and the engineering that brought it all together. In its friendlier sport mode, the car is a blast to drive out on the road, but slip it into track mode and it drops to the ground, kicks up its tail, and transforms into an absolute monster. I tried to push this car to its limits and it laughed in my face and asked for more. Here you see me cruising the track at an almost painfully slow pace as I try to learn its many turns and quirks. Then I suit up in a full body rig that keeps my head from flying off my body when I take a turn at 120 miles per hour, and it's time to actually drive this car the right way. Or, you know, as close as I can get. there, and then this is one radius. So, so this is the Ford Performance app, and what we've done here is you can create your own tracks here. So we set one up for the this UMC West, which is the track you are on. And this is your run that you did. So if you look here, you have the map here, and, your, uh, and these are your lap speeds. Back in the 1960s, Henry Ford II wanted to buy Ferrari. That deal fell through at the last second, so Ford shifted focus from buying them to beating them. They built the Ford GT to take on Ferrari and Le Mans, and took the crown every year from 1966 to 1969. 50 years later, they're celebrating the anniversary by doing it all over again and building a new GT. Now we're gonna do a quick lap with Dirk Muller, who races in Le Mans for Ford. We're gonna see how the pros do it, and I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit faster. All right, have fun. Yeah. So why build something like this? Ford chalks it up partly to research. Some of what they learn from building this car will make it into their other vehicles. You know, the ones they actually expect most people to buy. But in the end, it's about showing that they can. Yeah, they build vans, they build trucks, but they can also build Batmobile-looking monsters that tear up the track. <laughs> 